so I just stopped the video. Sorry, um, my wife came through, and I didn't want to, uh, you know, you know, be it just I turned it off because of that. So my apologies for the abrupt stop. Um, so there's other aspects to uh, things that make it newsworthy. Um, conflict makes things newsworthy. Um, you know, things that are humorous, things that are unusual. We kind of talked about that. All those things make things newsworthy. Um, and so those are kind of things that make things newsworthy. But the other thing to keep in mind is it also makes a big difference um, what your publication is and what its specialty is. So if you're a uh, business publication, uh, business news is going to be bigger. If you're a local publication, local news is going to be bigger. You kind of go to what, you know, so what makes it newsworthy also makes a difference in what it is. Sometimes when you get into larger cities, uh, you also will find that local publications will not only do local stuff, but they'll do more uh, national, international, statewide stories because those stories have an impact on the whole area. Because sometimes in a larger community like Chicago, not everybody cares that, uh, that they're doing work on the Dan Ryan. I mean, more people are concerned about that than other people, but, the, but, but not everybody takes the Dan Ryan. Some people, I mean, you can live in Chicago and not have driven on the Dan Ray and expressway that probably takes you, it takes you up from like, uh, from like the south side of Chicago north. I mean, people who live, you know, on the north side or people who live on the west side probably haven't taken that in years. And so uh, they, they, it really wouldn't have much impact. So a couple things to keep on in mind is the idea of objectivity. Um, news should always be tried to be reported, it's, at least it's, you know, traditionally been, uh, you know, it was always tried to be objective that, you know, you want to get stuff that, you know, you don't want to go only do stories that fit your view of the world. For example, if you are a um, conservative, you know, you don't want to do stories only that do conservative matters and you don't want to do uh, stories that if you're a liberal only do stories that affect liberal agenda. Um, people might say, well, it's news to report about COVID-19 and the pandemic. And so when there's a political rally, you might do something about, you know, the effects of COVID-19 and political rallies. But the other side of the coin is, is do you do it when you talk about, uh, you know, Black Lives Matters rallies? If you report on crime, you know, uh, what types of crimes you report on and the ethnicity and, you know, if you report on crimes, uh, you know, of what type and what nature and, you know, things like that. All that can have a, uh, you know, can have an element that when you choose stories, you are in fact making a judgment. Um, and so you have to be very careful not to do it. You want to keep your stories free from bias and you want to keep your reporting and the choice of stories of what you find newsworthy to be objective too. Now, a few things to keep in mind, you know, things that we don't typically uh, try to make, say, aren't really newsworthy. We don't want to uh, do things that are offensive, you know, keep in mind that most publications are, you know, kind of family publications. We try not to just sensationalize things. Um, you know, those are things we try to keep in mind. We try to keep things accurate. And um, I'm sorry, we don't report on rumors. Uh, we try to keep the idea of like, don't sensationalize things. Don't try to make a big deal out of them. Don't report rumors. Um, those are things that we try not to do. Sexual assault. Uh, sexual assault is uh, typically we don't name the victims of sexual assault and even people who uh, there is some debate about whether to report names of people who've been accused of it until they've been convicted. Naming juveniles is usually and uh, usually try to, uh, you know, anything that's proprietary, try to avoid. We try to keep maintain accuracy in facts, names, and privacy. Things to keep in mind is you always want to make sure your facts are right and your objective, but you want to make sure that if you give information that it's factually true, because you know that's going to be one thing that keeps you from lawsuits. We are very particular about making sure we get our names spelled right and we don't mess that up. Um, there's a lot of different ways to spell the same name, and so we don't want to say it wrong, we don't want to pronounce it wrong, we don't want to spell it wrong. People are offended by that uh, and we don't want to do that. And so we always try to keep things as accurate and clear as possible. Okay, that's essentially just a quick 
summary of the newsworthiness uh, chapter.